A 15-year-old Tokyo youngster starts his first day at a small auto repair shop. The owner questioned if the lad was cut out for this type of work and assigned him to clean the workshop and watch his child. Nobody cared much. They didn't care because they didn't know this kid's future. The after a few decades, Soichiro Honda competed with global automakers. This is the story of how a poor Japanese boy went from being a babysitter to developing a multi-billion dollar brand and becoming the largest motorcycle manufacturer. The Honda Motor Company. The story begins in 1906 in Tenryu Shizuoka, a poor town near Mount Fuji. Kihei Honda and his wife had their first son, Soichiro. Soichiro's mother was a skilled weaver raised in poverty, while his father was a country blacksmith who also fixed bicycles. Soichiro lost five siblings to illness as a child. When Soichiro was eight, an odd vibration caught his attention as he went about his daily routine. He followed the sound to a large, odd four-wheeled contraption. What Soichiro saw was a Ford Model T, which fascinated him. He spotted his first car. This is exciting. This encounter forever altered his relationship with machines. He learned to hydrate farm machinery blades and fix bikes. All engines and motors intrigued him. Soichiro hated school and spent most of his childhood helping his father fix bicycles. His disinterest in education damaged his GPA. A Tokyo vehicle repair shop called Art Shokai caught Soichiro's attention in a magazine. It was one of the city's most popular automobile services, so he thought they would require additional employees. He wrote Art Shokai about a job and got a nice response. Soichiro quit school, left home, and went to Tokyo at age 15. Uzo Sakakibara, the shop owner, had a job lined up. He would watch the owner's kid. In the following months, Soichiro was upset to find that he wasn't generating any money and was just assigned to carry a baby on his back. His sole reason for staying was the guilt of returning home. Over time, the business owner couldn't meet his vehicle business's high demand. Soichiro was finally called in to help. Soichiro rose to become a trusted mechanic. The owner noticed Soichiro's talent and passion and chose to educate him in mechanical maintenance and business. Soon, Soichiro was familiar with Lincolns, Mercedes, Daimlers, and even motorbikes brought into the workshop. Sakakibara opened a Hamamatsu Art Shokai branch. He thought his 21-year-old student was the best man to lead. Soichiro was hired to oversee the new branch and had grown his firm by 1930. From one man to 30 people, his new shop had expanded. Soichiro developed the Hamamatsu race car in his shop and drove it to 75 miles per hour, a Japanese speed record for 20 years. Honda crashed while racing the Hamamatsu in Tokyo's outskirts in June 1936 and nearly died. Soichiro never raced again after his left arm, shoulder, and face were broken. Soichiro Honda aimed to make car parts by 1936. The shareholders opposed his plan to split the Art Shokai Hamamatsu branch into a separate firm. Soichiro Honda built the Tokai Seiki Heavy Industry to make piston rings and named his friend Shishido Kato its president. Soichiro Honda and Kato founded the Art Piston Ring Research Center after working hard. Honda worked in his Hamamatsu branch's repair workshop and developed pistons at night. Soichiro ultimately invented a functioning piston in 1939. He left Art Shokai confident in his design. Soichiro Honda started making pistons daily. Creations were still faulty and far from perfect. Toyota asked Soichiro Honda to build pistons, but only three of his 50 presented met the Toyota standard. Soichiro was heartbroken, yet he kept going. Honda tried again incredible result. His new pistons passed quality control, and orders from throughout the country poured in, forcing the company to hire 2,000 personnel to keep up. After Japan entered the Pacific War in 1941, 
Honda's company came directly under the Ministry of Munitions in 1942. Toyota bought 45% of the company's shares and demoted Soichiro Honda from president to senior managing director. Soichiro Honda worked hard to keep his company afloat, but he wasn't ready for 1944. After air raid sirens intensified, Soichiro's company was bombed directly, blowing up the factory. In January 1945, the Nankai earthquake collapsed the unused plant, causing the firm further setbacks. In August 1945, Japan surrendered, but Soichiro had nearly lost everything. Soichiro sold his company to Toyota for $0.45 million after the war. Soichiro Honda couldn't buy family food. Soichiro found a generator. He had a brilliant idea while admiring the engine. What if he put this engine on a bike? The country needed affordable transportation, too. In 1946, Soichiro founded the Honda Technical Research Institute in his old warehouse to find a way to build motorcycles. He and his 12-man crew built a motorcycle using motors he discovered and other spare parts. These new bikes were a hit immediately. Soichiro Honda created Honda Motor Company in 1948 to make motorcycles. Unfortunately, Soichiro needed additional money to grow his production. He addressed an open letter to all 18,000 Japanese bicycle store owners, revealing his plan to revive Japan. Out of 18,000 retailers, he wrote, 3,000 responded positively and gave him the money to start shipping. The Model D was the company's first full motorbike a year later. He built another motorcycle, the Super Cub, after three years of experimentation. The Super Cub won the Emperor's Prize after being an instant hit. In 1958, the Cub cost $295 in the US, one-fourth of other American motorcycles. It soon outsold Triumph and Harley-Davidson in their home markets. The 1949 Honda Dream made Honda the world's largest motorcycle manufacturer. They made 10 million motorcycles by 1968. For Soichiro, becoming the biggest motorcycle firm wasn't enough. His other dream from age eight was to become a car maker. Many advised Soichiro that entering the vehicle business was risky for the company. Soichiro ignored their arguments. Honda's first car was the 1963 T360 mini truck, a little yet reliable pickup truck. The company's first sports vehicle, the S500, followed the tiny truck, which failed to catch on. This two-door S500 Roadster had a four-speed transmission and could achieve 80 miles per hour. Unfortunately, only 1,300 of these automobiles were manufactured, making it one of the rarest Honda products. The 1964 Belgian Grand Prix saw the Honda RA 271 arrive in Formula One. Honda won the 1965 Mexican Grand Prix with their new replacement in one year, the RA 272. Honda was no match for its rivals in the automotive industry, despite its early racing success. In 1972, Honda introduced the Civic, which became one of the world's most popular automobiles, notably in Europe and America. Compound Vortex Controlled Combustion, CVCC, fuel management is new to the Honda Civic. Catalytic converters were added to the Honda Civic to reduce exhaust gas pollution, something other big automakers didn't do. Honda became a fast-growing automaker. The Honda Accord changed everything. The Honda Accord started as a tiny hatchback. It later included sedans. The Civic's fuel-efficient features were in this new, moderate-sized variant. The early 1980s Honda Accord became one of the best-selling cars in automotive history. By the end of the decade, Honda was the third largest vehicle manufacturer in Japan, and the third largest worldwide. After retiring in 1973, Soichiro Honda died on August 5, 1991. Honda now makes aircraft, watercraft engines, power equipment, and robots. Many thanks for viewing. See you next time.